Right, so we're looking at that category two, but the National Hurricane Center is really taking this hour by hour, saying this could really soon become a major hurricane. That would be category three. So you can see right now it is off the coast, uh, but as we move forward, you can see this is going to make landfall here very early morning tomorrow morning. So uh, lots of warnings in place for people right now and that storm surge, uh, one of the most concerning parts of it. So let's continue to move forward because we're really going to see this hurricane bring impact impacts to South Carolina, North Carolina, all the way up to the uh, just a tip of Virginia. So again, category two means we see winds sustained at about 100 miles per hour, uh, but it only has to be 110 or 111 miles per hour to be considered a category three, and that is a major hurricane. So again, that storm surge, uh, one of the biggest issues and the warning right now in place right here in the Gulf Coast as well. And so you could see a storm surge up to 10 to 12 feet and that's above ground level. So send your prayers, send your thoughts to folks there uh, as they're dealing with this flooding, with this rain, with this wind. Uh, Going to be really intense here over the next couple days. And you can see make its way all the way up through South Carolina, North Carolina and Virginia before it heads off into the ocean. But let's bring it back here to the Rose City. Uh, we've been seeing lots of cloud cover today, still hanging out out there, but we have had a couple pockets of sunshine, about 72 degrees outside right now. And yes, we still do have a chance chance for showers. Let's talk about those. So we're going to have a chance for showers until early tomorrow morning. So you can see this is 6 a.m. tomorrow. Still got a couple of those rain cells hanging out. Still got that cloud cover today. We saw a lot of clouds because a marine layer really stuck with us all the way to the Cascade Crest. And then you can see we get a little bit of a break. So we have a clearing here Wednesday afternoon before a lot comes our way on Thursday. So you're going to want to keep your eye here on the right side of your screen as that system makes its way across southwest Washington and western Oregon as well. So you can see this is Thursday 8 a.m. So when you're heading to work on Thursday, going to want to have that rain jacket with you and it's going to stick with us all the way through Friday. So you can see this really not going anywhere. By the time you get to your commute home on Thursday, roads are going to be slippery and wet as well. So for our Cascade areas, government camp in the 60s, Willamette Pass in the 60s as well. We're going to see that again morning rain tomorrow before we get a break and then we see much more so we could see half an inch in this area by the time we get to Friday. The gorge probably less than that about a quarter of an inch quarter of an inch uh, in the foothills in the metro area as well. The gorge also under a wind advisory could see gusts between 30 and 50 miles per hour, so not good news for firefighters. Something to definitely keep an eye on. We can see our temperatures there mid 70s, so we're sitting at average or just below average here for the next few days. But uh, let's take a look at some of those temperatures. You can see the coast sitting at the 60s. We're sitting at the mid 70s on the I-5 corridor and then mid 70s, 60s or so in the mountains as well. It's even cooled down over in Pendleton. I know they were up in the triple digits, so it's got to be a sigh of relief to see those 70s on the board. Let's move on to that seven day forecast. You can see we're sitting in these cooler temperatures or so. Can you call them cool? I'm going to because relative to 90 degrees, 75 feels pretty good. We're going to see that through Friday and then Saturday. We still have a little bit of a warm up. It's going to dry off a little bit Saturday, so we're crossing our fingers. Yeah, we can you still know get I'm, outside. I'm with you here. We need the rain and also it'd be nice to have a little sunshine this weekend, right? For the holiday, right? We're going to get a little clearing and then watch out Sunday. It could return. There you go. Thank you, Ashley. Still